Hello and welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Well, actually a special Christmas episode of PC Building Simulator. For those of you watching this in the future, this is coming out on Christmas Day. Also, if you didn't know what that tree did, uh, it turns on all the Christmas lights in here and the pumpkin makes it look Halloween, but I'm not gonna click the pumpkin today because it's Christmas. So I wanna say Merry Christmas to all of you to celebrate Christmas and even those of you that don't hope you have a wonderful day today so let's hop on the computer here if you missed the last episode we built a PC to play Doom at 4k we also found out what all of our PC Bay auctions sold for so if you missed that episode and you want to go check it out I will put a link up in the upper right hand corner so you can go do that in this episode well I don't know what we're doing as usual because I'm gonna hop into the email here and we're going to pick a fix. I think we got two. Let's do this one because it's due tomorrow. It says, hello, my PC broke itself. My granddad thought that the PC needed oiling and the results don't seem good. Can you get it done before tomorrow? I like nice and shiny new components. My PC lives on the floor, so I'm pretty sure it's full of dust. Well, it didn't break itself. Your granddad broke it. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm just calling it how it is. Uh, they need their motherboard and their RAM replaced. I'm sure we can do that for them for their budget of 800 bucks. Let's go ahead and accept that one. And then as usual, I like to come down here to the bottom of the list and do the oldest build. It says, Hey, I need a new computer. If you're available, I saw a PC build online that benchmark at 10,051. Can you hit that? I want to go all out with two graphics cards. ASAP, please. It's urgent. Heard you guys put used parts in PCs. Please don't do that. Thanks. M. So M has a budget of $6,500 to get a 3D Mark score of 10,051 with dual graphics cards. That's a massive budget, and I'm sure we can build them something nice. I'm absolutely sure. So let's go ahead and accept that. So for this fix, we just need to replace the motherboard and the RAM. They've got a Gigabyte X299 Aorus Gaming 9, as well as one stick of Team Group T-Force Delta 2 RGB 8 gig 3000 megahertz. I'm pretty sure in that $800 budget, we might be able to get them two sticks of RAM. We might be able to. So we'll have to take a look. I'll get that stuff put in the cart when I get the stuff for this build put into the cart. So I'm going to step away, get everything put into the shopping cart. And as soon as I'm done, I'll be right back. All right, for this build to get a 3D Mark score of 10,051, which I'm pretty sure we're gonna beat, we're gonna go with a Gigabyte Z490 Aorus Extreme motherboard and Intel i9-11900K, an Arctic Freezer, AIO, it is 420 millimeters. The biggest one in the game. We're gonna put in two sticks of the fastest RAM as well, the G-Skill Trident Z, eight gig, 4,800 megahertz, two gigabyte Aorus RTX 2080 Ti's. It cut off the Ti here at the end, but it is the Ti version. We're also gonna put in a one terabyte NVMe drive, 1050 watt EVGA power supply. We're gonna add two Fractal Design RGB fans, and we're gonna put all of that in the Fractal Design Define 7 XL with light tempered glass. I've also got the motherboard that we need for the repair. And I got two sticks of RAM because there was plenty of money in their budget. In fact, they've still got about $180 of budget left over. So I think we're going to be just fine getting them a little bit more RAM for their system. All right, so we're going to do all this for next day delivery. Let's go ahead and buy it now. Let me double check and make sure. Yep, I did accept that one. So let's go in the day. We can get everything in and we can get to work. Go to work. All right. Try not to step on all these lights and Christmas trees and packages and whatnot around here. Here's all of our stuff we ordered. This is something from PC Bay, this stick of RAM. Here's our fit. Oh my gosh, it's dusty. It is so dusty. Holy cow. All right, so we're going to have to clean that out with dust. They also said it was slow. So I'm wondering if maybe we should run a virus scan on it. We'll have to check. And here's our case for our build we'll get that put over there and we'll get this sticky note put right here so that thing's all ready let's take a look at this holy cow what in the world 
need to get this all taken apart anyway because we've got to take all this stuff out of here to get to the motherboard. So let me start off with some compressed air. Let's see if we can't get this cleaned up a little bit. Get rid of some of this filth. <laughs> Maybe. Oh my gosh, it's so dirty. There we go. It's starting to go. It's starting to go. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. So let's start taking parts out of here. Uh, lots of stuff to take out. Guess I didn't realize they had two graphics cards, but I mean, shouldn't really matter. Let's get both of those out of the way. Let's unplug all the fan stuff. There we go. Okay, that should be everything unplugged now. Let's get this stick of RAM out because they said it was broken. Now we'll get the CPU out. We should, whoops, we should be able to remove this motherboard now and get a new one put in for them. There we go. And it's gonna take out the standoffs even though it just needs to put them right back in. So let's come down here. It does say it's broken, so let's grab the new one and get that installed. And then I wanna put their RAM over here because we've now got two sticks going in. So let's grab that next. Let's come down here. Their RAM is broken, so we will grab the new RAM and get that installed. This do fits this PC. That will save some time. <laughs> all that scrolling through all that RAM. All right, let me get this thing ready for the CPU. We can go ahead and get that installed. Nothing wrong with that. There we go. All right, then. Let's see, where's their graphics cards? Here they are. Oh, they've got a couple of 6800s, nice. Don't know which one was the upper, so <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I'm installing them in somewhat of the right direction. Okay, let's get some thermal paste on the CPU and I wanna get their CPU cooler put back on. Perfect, perfect. I think we're ready to cable. They did have red cables and I think, let's see. I think they were these sleeved plastic. Let's take a look here. Yeah, that looks right. I don't know why this thing's still saying replace motherboard. Maybe it's just because I haven't cabled it. There we go. There we go, that fixed it. Get everything cabled up here. I think we're good to try to power it on. Let's hop into the BIOS real fast. Turn the XMP on so they can get their full 3000 megahertz. Oh, they're booting from a hard drive. Okay. All right. So let this thing boot up, make sure it works. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, let me get the side panels put on and we can get this out in the hall. We can get started on this build. Out in the hall with you and let's start taking this apart. Let's see, this needs to open up. This needs to come off. These fans need to go. I'm not gonna be reusing these. And this back fan, that can go. Let's see, this needs to come off the top. And this off the back. I'll have to figure out which slot's there, but I want these gone too. I don't think they look nice. And then we have to take this off, I think. Because this is going to have to go, these hard drive bays here. This beauty panel needs to come out. This needs to go, this needs to go. <laughs> Lots of stuff has to go off of here to fit that big 420 millimeter AIO up in the front. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's good. So before I forget, I want to get the fans in first. So let's come down here. We've got both of these are going in the Fractal Design Prisma AL14. We're going to put one in the back. 
And we're going to put one up in the top. There's the other one. Get that over here. Perfect. Then we can grab our motherboard. Let's come down here. We've got the Gigabyte Z490 Aorus Extreme. Somebody in the comments wanted me to build an Aorus build. I don't remember who it was, but if it was you, this is a mostly Aorus build. And it's for you, my friend. It is for you. All right. Let's get this thing ready for RAM and CPU and our M.2 drive. Let me get that in first. Let's get the storage in here. It will be done with that. We got the Patriot Viper. Why do I have a broken hard drive? <laughs> We've got the Patriot Viper VP4100, a one terabyte version. Sure, I meant to put it up higher, but I think that'll be just fine where it is. Uh, then we need to get our RAM in. We've got this G Skill Trident Z 8 gig 4800 megahertz. We've got two sticks of that going in. And I'm going to overclock it to 5000 megahertz. Uh, just because, because it does it very easily and it's stable so we're going to do that next we're going to put in our i9 11900k there we go perfect perfect this thing's coming along real nice real nice all right let's get some thermal paste on here and let's get our cpu cooler on next we've got the arctic liquid freezer 2 series 420 millimeter AIO. And let's see if we can sneak that in over here. That seems like a weird position. I don't know. It's got this thing blocking it. But, you know, as long as it works. As long as it works. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, let's get some of these out of the way. We've got two graphics cards to go in here. And we still need to get our power supply. So let's grab that next. We've got the EVGA Supernova 1050 watt. That goes right here. But before I let that thing plug itself in, I want to get the PSU mount back on. There we go. Now it can plug itself in. Excellent. All right. Graphics card time. It's graphics card time. We've got two gigabyte Aorus RTX 2080 Ti Extremes. Let me get them both mounted in here. Like so. Very, very nice. Very nice. Okay, I'm ready to cable this up. And I actually want to use, like, some black cables. I think it'll look nice. Just nice and sleek in here. Let me get everything cabled up. There we go. And then we can probably start putting this case back together. At least a little bit. We've got a dust filter for the top. Then we've got a top panel. And the dust filter, I think, for the front. All the way down here at the bottom. Yep, there it is. There we go. And then I can close this front door. Give us a little more space around here. <laughs> Oh, man. So we need to run 3D Mark, and we need to make sure this sucker starts up. I need to get a USB drive in here, and then we can power this on. I want to hop into the BIOS because I do want to overclock the RAM, and we will probably need to run an OCCT just to make sure it's stable. I'm going to go straight to 1. Point, whoops, 1.65 volts, and we're going to go to 5,000 megahertz. There we go. Okay, everything else should be good. Let's apply these changes and restart. We'll see if it crashes while it's installed. No, it installed the operating system real fast. I think we're just fine, but let's go ahead and get the 3D mark on here, and then I want to get OCCT. We'll do a quick run of OCCT. It takes about 15 seconds of the full OCCT automatic run to test your RAM. It's quite quick. You don't even need to let it go through the whole thing. So we're going to do that first. Oh, I should have put the lighting app on here. We'll do that here in a moment. Let's let this run through about the first 15 seconds of the test. 
think we're going to be good. I mean, look at how warm that CPU is, and we got a 420 millimeter AIO on there. It's a hot CPU. Okay, we're stable. We're good. Before I run 3D Mark, I do want to go ahead and get the lighting app on because I know I want to change the color of the lights because look at this. I think I'm going to make a match uh, the kind of Aorus orange here. I think that would look real nice with this build. So let's do that real fast. Oops, that's not what I want to do. I want to select that and then select all. Then it'll keep that color. And we can apply that. And I'm going to get 3D Mark running. And as soon as this thing has a score, if it blue screens, either way, I will come back and show you guys. All right. So no blue screen. Everything ran perfectly stable. But look at that score. They wanted 10,051. We gave them 20,060. If they're not happy with that, I don't think anything's going to make them happy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. All right. So... Got the colors changed here. I still need to get the side panels put on. Oops. Need to put that beauty panel on first. There it is. There we go. Then we can get the side panel put on. I don't know really what that beauty panel does since there's a solid metal side panel that goes over it, but you know, whatever, whatever. So let me close this out. I think this turned out real nice. Let's take a look at it without the UI in the way. Yeah, I like that. I like it. And a couple of 2080 TIs, this thing should be nice and fast. Nice and fast. Not that SLI does very good in games anymore, so... Usually just one graphics card will do it. But hey, if you need two for something, I mean, there's still reasons to have two graphics cards. So, this thing's done. Let's go put this out here in the delivery area. We can collect some money. Let's take a look here. This one was ASAP, so let's collect it first, even though I usually like to collect the builds second. Let's do it. Four stars, I love my new rig. I don't know why it's four stars. Maybe we gave him too powerful of a PC. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? And then we've got this fix. Let's collect that. Five stars, the new motherboard is working well, and I'm really happy. Excellent. Let's clear out these red dots. We'll take a look at those in an, another episode. But let's see if there's anything that I need from PC Bay. Wait, what, what's this here? Broken PC with a Ryzen 7 1700X and a 2060 Super for $693. That's actually a pretty good deal. It's actually a pretty good deal. And I need to do another episode building some... PCs for PC base, so it wouldn't hurt to get some parts in. Let's go ahead. Let's buy that. That seems like a pretty decent deal. I don't want the 970. Um, that case isn't bad. For 26 bucks, Sure, why not? And that's kind of a weird case, but for $110, all right. We'll build something in it. We will build something in it. Like I said, this is releasing on Christmas Day. I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas if you're watching this towards the end of your day. Hopefully you are. Hopefully you spent some time with your family. Hopefully you had a great day. You can let me know down in the comments if you got everything that you wanted. I hope you had a Merry Christmas. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. Also, if you want to help support me... There's a link to my Patreon down in the description. There's also a join button next to the subscribe button where you can become a channel member. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Merry Christmas, guys. And I will see you in the next episode.